Good girl, Dottie. Dottie and I slept next to the highway again last night. 42 highway. 42 highway. Had this, this uh, I don't know, construction easement. And we just walked up this embankment and saw this. Yeah, it rained last night. <clears throat> so it's like 8.30. I'm still. It not only rained last night, but it was misting this morning uh, until just 20 minutes ago. So now I'm letting everything dry out. Oh, baby. Oh. Milk you, Daddy. Yeah. We are just outside of Coquille, Oregon. And just another 10 miles uh, over to Bandon, Oregon, which is on the coast. So we're only like 10 miles away from the coast. This is exciting. Daddy's never seen a beach. This came down right there. Woohoo! New salad for Daddy. See what this building is. A little fire house. And I guess we were in a no trespassing area. Property of Oregon Department of Transportation. So I guess this whole area is ODOT, Oregon Department of Transportation. They don't want anyone laying on their gravel back there. I don't want any tweakers pulling up back there. But they don't have a fence along the whole front side or any signs, so uh, there was no way for me, a on foot uh, camper, to No. <laughs> Good girl. Wonder where this road leads. Hey guys, nothing. No signs, no fences. Just got shade. Maybe we'd go up it if it was one o'clock and we needed the shade. We would definitely go up it. Or we would sit behind this. Especially if I had a plug-in. Wonder if it did. Doesn't look like it. Look at this grass, all oh, this sweet grass, study. You can get it. Good girl. Getting the chicory. Chickabee. She's getting chicory, and this is plantain. Ah, here. Come get the sweet grass. Come get some of these grass. Still got dew on it, too, from this morning. That's what's so awesome about sheep is that they really don't require even a fraction of the watering that a dairy goat does. A dairy sheep does not <coughs> require being uh, being watered multiple times a day. They literally will drink maybe one time a day. At least all the ones that I've had. And some days they don't even drink. Um, and I think it's because they, they do graze uh, way closer to the ground. They tend to graze more grass. Uh, and so those parts of the plants have the morning dew left in them longest. So I really think they get about twice as much water intake than goats do just from their forage. Their poop is also softer, and I think that's, that's uh, evidence that they're taking in more moisture um, that isn't being parted out in their, um, by their system like a goat when it takes in uh, drier seed heads like this. Usually goats just tend to eat the seed heads. Good girl. I'm impressed. How's your poop cup? Good. All right. Let's go. Come on. Howdy, Captain. Come on. Woohoo. Daddy and I are almost to Kakil. Going this way. And as soon as... Uh, Sideway gets to Kakil, then it heads straight over that mountain pass, and there's ocean. So we're almost there, and enjoying some 
sheep milk, some daddy sheep milk with some GMO raisin bran from some corner store. But I'm grateful. Hopefully the gratefulness transmutes some of the carcinogenic effects. There's more banana peels on the side of the highway. Tried to get the sticker off. More banana peels on the side of the highway than, uh, I don't know, man. Seriously, I think that we at least find a half a dozen a day, at least. All right, it's noon 30, almost the hottest part of the day. And I'm glad that we didn't sit down back there and settle for one of the other places. Because this has a lot more, a lot more food for her. Now let's see if it has a shady spot. While she was grazing that back there, I saw up here on the roadside that there was a cemetery. So I checked on my, on my map, on my phone, to see uh, how far down it was. And it's actually just on the other side of those trees. So that's super convenient. Yay. We found this awesome shaded meadow above the cemetery in Coquille. Headed into Coquille on the south side. Daddy found the wild arugula again. Good job, Daddy. It's in the same family, the Brassica family, as um, wild broccoli. Spicy. Yeah, this one is. It's one eye bob. Tasty. Daddy likes it too. Mm. Let's see how the greens are. Tender, but they got hairs on them. I like them. The other mustards. The other brassicas. Man, that's a really mild plant. A mild soil. Whatever affects it. Yeah, different strengths and flavor. This is really subtle spice. Cool. Good girl. Wow, cool. It's like a farm stand. I hope it's local stuff. Wow. Cool. Wow. This is the coolest store ever. Wow, quail eggs, what? Okay. Peach syrup? Oh, but it's got corn syrup added. That's gross. Corn syrup, yuck. Yeah! She loves the sweet corn. Sign said it's from Roseburg, but they didn't know what, exactly what farm. I got a sandwich, a veggie sandwich. Made with hopefully local, local veggies. Ah. They made it with chicken. So they, they gave me, made me another one, veggie. But, looks like I'll take that one for the road. Just pulling, it's easy enough to pull this, these, that square, mechanically processed pieces of chicken, obvious pieces of chicken out.